Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I've got another watercolor Wednesday to share with you, and this time I am working with Stamping Bella's Oddball Pumpkin Pile. So I am stamping on some Fabriano 140 pound hot press watercolor paper, and I'm using my Simon Says Stamp Black Ink. That's my favorite ink to use whenever I'm doing a watercolor. And there, um, just as a quick reminder, I had forgotten to take out the foam backing on my Misty. Uh, whenever you use a rubber stamp like this, you want to make sure to remove that. It's just going to help it stamp a lot more evenly, and you'll get a much uh, nicer stamp, uh, finished stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that out a couple times, make sure I've got some nice dark black lines. And then here I've grabbed my Ganzai Tambi watercolors and my Santa Fe brushes. Um, these are also my favorites to use whenever I'm watercoloring. And I'm going to go ahead and get these guys colored in. So for those of you who enjoy the process, I'm going to go ahead and turn up the music at this point. And for those of you who want to skip ahead to the actual creation of the card, you'll want to go to around the nine minute mark.
So now that all my watercoloring is nice and dry, I'm going to go ahead and trim out my panel using my MFT Blueprints 32 frame die. And here I've grabbed a Nina panel which I've trimmed to 3 and 3 quarters by 5 inches. That's going to match my front panel. I'm going to stamp out this image again using some Lawn Fawn Fake Tan. Just positioning that so it's sort of halfway on, halfway off to give a little bit of interest to the inside of my card. I've grabbed that front panel and I'm going to pop that up using some foam tape. And then there you can see I've got a card base made from MFT's black licorice. So I will go ahead and peel off the backing from that foam tape and then place that panel down on the front. Now you'll see that I did actually stamp out the sentiment Happy Halloween, um, but I just didn't think it had enough pop. So um, I didn't include that here. You're going to see in a second, I'm going to re-stamp that on some orange cardstock to finish everything up. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to add some ATG to that inside panel and go ahead and place that down as well. And 
kind of at this point is when I decided it just needed a little something more on the front. So I have grabbed some paper tray ink orange zest cardstock and I'm going to stamp out that happy Halloween sentiment. Now because I already had my panel popped up there, I'm just using my pencil to create some lines where I want to trim this. And I'll go ahead and cut off those edges. Then double check to make sure that I've got that the right size. Add some score tape to the back and place that down right on top. And that will complete our card for today. Here are a few close-ups of the finished card. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.